Hey guys, good morning. I haven't really got ready from like here up, so <laughs> don't mind that. But uh, I'm making my coffee and I thought I would show you guys something. So we took some advice from somebody that had left it about making this little area into a coffee station. So it's still a work in progress because we obviously only have the Keurig over here. But it was a good suggestion because I don't use this as a desk anymore. This is a wireless printer that can go somewhere else. Those are the girls' books. Um, and then this is just the... What's this? Oh. Huh. Cool. Um, this is the family planner that I got from Recollections. And then my purse usually hangs out somewhere in the house. But we're moving the Keurig over here. And then we went ahead and put coffee in. I don't know if I want to get... We've had these for a long time. We used to have... What is it called? A curio cabinet? Something like that. China cabinet, yeah. Like when we first moved in here before we got the built-in desk, um, we had a cabinet, a glass cabinet, and we had a bunch of like decorative plates and stuff in it. God, that seems like ages ago. I, I mean, I can't even remember that really, but prior to getting the desk, we did have that. We got the desk pretty quickly though. Um, we had these, and the decor matches kind of our taste really nicely. We got these from Oak Express years ago. We've been in the house for, oh gosh, almost eight years now. And that's how long ago we got them. So we had coffee in them for the longest time, <laughs> just as decoration. So we dumped it. We put fresh coffee in here and fresh cream. And um, this is just going to set here. If I end up finding some jars that I like better, I'll definitely switch those out. Maybe for like sugar and different things and then I want to get some sort of rack for coffee mugs or something. I'm just saying maybe do like some S hooks or something under here for the coffee mugs but yeah I think it's a great idea to make it a little coffee station over here so it's a work in progress but we're going to try that and it clears up a lot of space over here like this entire the only thing is is I don't like that the cord hangs so we're going to try and get either electricity put down there or possibly move the blender over here so that it covers it up and then this will eventually go because she won't be on bottles in a couple of months and yeah I think it's coming together nicely I don't know why Maddie's stuff is up here um, but I think it's I think it's better thank you guys for all of your constructive suggestions <laughs> all of the mean ones you know you know where you can go. So anyway, I'm just about to make a uh, coffee with some caramel protein. When Andres went to Walmart yesterday to get salad for last night, he picked up a couple of four packs of these. So I'm super excited to have a protein coffee because um, I'm tired. I need a little pick me up. I had a few drinks last night, but I'm not even like feeling bad from that. I'm just tired. Um, I went to bed like around one. I got into a, like a cleaning mode in my office area and editing and I just my brain was like whoa, 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 all night so <laughs> I'm just tired I need to catch up and uh, work on some sleep luckily today we're just going to Costco and first thing he told me was like oh, you're going to Costco without me <laughs> it's your favorite place too huh baby <laughs> so anyway I'm just gonna buy I told him I said just buy baby wipes maybe like a couple little things but I'm not gonna do like a huge or any haul really because I'm sure he'll want to go this weekend or something so yeah that is what the plan is for today see how it tastes just like Starbucks so I'm finishing getting ready before I go to Costco and I thought I would show you guys remember I don't know several weeks ago when I showed you my closet and I ended up splitting up this section is like fall winter or work stuff so it's mainly three-quarter length sleeves uh, down to long sleeve sweaters I do have a couple short sleeve things that I don't I wear during tax season I don't wear during summertime like those two in particular that I don't know there's a few more things in here that I don't wear any other time besides tax season and then I have a bunch of clothes to hang up that are clean that I need to get to today. But this section right here from this blue shirt on is all of my short sleeve or summer stuff that I have worn and has already been through the wash and it's now hung up. So that way I knew 
what I was wearing and what I wasn't. And this was the stuff that was left in my closet that I have yet to wear. And again, I don't know if you remember a few weeks ago when I showed you guys, this whole area was full of stuff that I have yet to wear that was considered short sleeve or summer. So I'm down to like 10 items somewhere around there and I actually have already worn some stuff that was either like tight or uncomfortable during the day that I already got rid of and this is what I've dwindled down to and each time I come like the shirt that I'm wearing today which is from Lane Bryant was in this section and I knew I liked it and I was like well let me wear it today if I'm comfortable in it I'm gonna keep it and that's kind of what I've been doing I've been wearing each shirt whether I want to or not <laughs> and if I'm not comfortable in it it doesn't fit right it chafes it hangs weird or maybe it's shrunk like this shirt in particular I got from Old Navy I think a couple years ago I have one in black coral this color I think I really like them and I wore them on vacation I want to say when we were in California they've shrunk very bad shrunken whatever the term is there They've shrunken the dryer shrunk them because I had the coral one on the other day and I was so uncomfortable in it it was way too short for me so I had to get rid of it and so I'm gonna try this one on and if it's too short I'm gonna have to get rid of it some of these these things I know I'm not going to get rid of I just haven't gone through them but yeah that's all I have left like this shirt is kind of a toss-up I got rid of the white one and I think the purple as well I just kept this one just in case this was a maternity shirt um this is a maternity tank top that I'm probably going to keep this is such a beautiful shirt and it barely doesn't fit so it's like I hate to get rid of it because it's so cute you guys know this is my favorite print and I just need maybe like 10 or 15 more pounds to get in that 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 actually is a um, uh, H&R Block shirt. Yeah, so I'm just like, there's just a few more left, and I've weeded out my entire closet, which I love. So now I'm kind of just waiting around for autumn to wake up. I'm going to go import vlog footage from yesterday and get a move on that, and wait for her to wake up so we can take off. Update on my desk. I can't remember if I showed the final product last night or not. I cleared off all of this. I'm so happy and proud of myself. I just need to figure out what to do with that. Um, that is that you are my sunshine thing from yesterday that I just need to put a piece of scrapbook paper behind hang in the girls' bathroom. That is like Hawaii stuff that I was going to scrapbook with. I just need to go through it. And then I ended up putting, let's see if I can get this, my scrapbook and extra pictures. This is like from our wedding. I didn't get, I got about halfway done with our wedding one, so I need to work on that. But extra pictures and scrapbook stuff, and then I finished all my drawers over here. This is my scrapbook, like, drawer section. This is my um, office supply, like papers, envelopes, things like that. And this is more fun stuff, like washi, stickers, extra planner things, important papers, whatnot and then this one I haven't finished because my label maker ran out of labels but that's going to be for my silhouettes and the desk is pretty cleared off which I'm very excited about I haven't seen it like this since I started now we just have all that stuff to worry about and all that's trash except Autumn's little bumbo thing there but it's coming together <gasps> who's sitting up what are you doing Good morning, Mama. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. You sat down all by yourself. You're getting so good. And yeah. she's and she's lean and she's kneeling. Daddy has to lower your crib, huh? Yeah. Has to lower it that that way you can stand. We're baby wearing today. I gotta figure out how to get her a little lower on my chest because I can barely see over her head, and I'm pretty sure. There's a way to make it go a little bit lower, but I haven't figured that out yet. So I have my cart pusher. I have no idea where my brother and Melissa are, but I'm sure they're in here somewhere. I see it. So we're at Costco. This thing's cool. We hardly ever look at, oh, that's actually a neat way to use it. Produce, fruit, pasta. That would be a cool thing for the pantry. 
I hardly ever look in these areas over here because we usually just come here for food, but I promised Andres I would just buy white these. I like this one better though. That one better? Well, I like stainless steel. See, our stainless steel that's good stainless are awful. Steel. <laughs> they're the, they're the tripod clad stainless steel. She's gonna walk out with like two full baths. <laughs> <laughs> well, look who I ran into. Blast, like a oh, yeah. You know how many cups we have? We don't need any more cups. But yeah, I was looking at all these new cookware kind of things. Nice we have not bought pots and pans, like legit pots and pans since we got married. Or no, actually before we got married. I always give Bea a hard time because she always eats beets and I've never tasted them. These are good, but they're good. Especially candy beets are really good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I like, I love these. <laughs> They're individually packed though. Mm. If I was gonna. No. Ooh. Nasty, right? <laughs> I'm pretty sure beets are an acquired taste. There's a trash can. There's a trash can right there. Well, they're not that bad. Ah. These are good. I like these. I mean, they're not awful. They just kind of have a a sour taste. <laughs> she doesn't look amused anymore. <laughs> What's wrong? Nope. I'm not having it. Like, this isn't Can you fun. Have a I'm like trying to pull my thumbs yeah. away. <laughs> Keeps them fresh. Look at the stuff Chibi and Melissa got. Heavy duty scrub pads. Cereal keepers. Uh soap. Uncrustables fruit snacks. <laughs> and I got mango. Oh. And four boxes of baby wipes. It's the story of my life, huh? <laughs> His story of my life. It's because you promised us this, you'd only get baby wipes. <laughs> no, it's because I promised I would get nothing. Even the mango. Luckily, he likes mango, so he shouldn't have too big of a cow. But $100 in baby wipes later, you know. So you know, I can you know, still spend my fair share at Costco. You know you hit adulthood when your highlight is going to Costco. I know. <laughs> that was our outing for the day at Costco. <laughs> I haven't been filming what we've been eating for dinner, like going camping and all that stuff, so I'm gonna start it back up this next week, but I thought I would just show you guys in case you were interested. I have a bed of lettuce, romaine lettuce, six ounces of extra lean ground beef, and a side of corn. I was actually gonna take the kernels off of the corn and put it in my salad. Some black beans in there would be really good as well. Drizzle a little bit of queso. And that's what I think I'm going to have. And then for the queso, I'm using two tablespoons of this queso blanco dip. It's only three points. And the girls are having theirs on tostadas. They're also having leftover beans and corn from the trip. If we have something to say. Huh? <laughs> Is it good? <laughs> Picked up Maddie a little bit early, so we're having an earlier dinner, which is nice. Autumn just went down for her second nap of the day, and we are going to finish eating. The beans good? Delicious. <laughs> I just love black uh, I mean, brown beans. Yeah, her bean beans are like her favorite. The I think we got the home style. Um, what are they called? Like ranch style beans. So yeah, that's what we're doing. And it was super simple. I just let two pounds of um, beef defrost out on the counter all day. Threw in a whole bunch of seasoning, a little bit of taco seasoning. And then the rest of the meat I'm going to save for one of my last boxes of Hamburger Helper tomorrow. Yeah, there we go. Mm -hmm. oh. Good night, see you tomorrow. Good night, see you tomorrow. Hey, Good night. Good night. Good night. So I'm waiting for my vlog to export and I thought I would catch up on my journaling. I think it came out really nice. I love the pictures with the Polaroid zip. Talked about our camping trip. Added my stickers from my Happy, happy Camper sticker book. This is from Michael's. And it was super nice. So now I just got to start on this week. And today's Wednesday. So I have three days to catch up on. But once I thought about it and kind of looked at my planner as to what I did, like these two days, it really wasn't that hard. And I love the way it came out. It was very therapeutic. 
a lot of people were telling me that writing is a form of therapy. I don't know if it was a psychologist. I think it was a psychologist. Somebody had mentioned, you know, that they recommend writing as a form of therapy. And it has always, and I've talked about this the other day, it's always been something that I've done. I've kept journals my entire life. When I was younger, I don't feel like I utilized them maybe like I should have as uh, like I would write down my anger and frustration maybe that's the way to do it I would write down my anger and frustration and then like tear it up and I tried not to hold on to those things because I never wanted to look back at what I actually wrote um, now as I'm older I don't find that I write I, I do write some of the frustration that I had for the day but and I do write the negative things like I talked about the trip kind of be not being the same because my mom got sick and then my grandma and my mom left Saturday morning and it was just different I did talk about things like that so I'm not gonna keep it just positive but I'm not necessarily letting out my anger and frustration in my words this is more for the girls to look back on and say oh mom felt this way this particular day or she did this that day or this is where her mind was at not necessarily like <laughs> i'm so frustrated today because of youtube or whatever i don't know i guess we'll kind of see how it goes but i think the first week started out nice and i like that i can use totally different stickers in here like i'm using all kinds of stuff i got when i was doing my uh scrapbooking things over there i have a whole bunch of scrapbooking lettering stickers that I would use I mean just random that I would use for my scrapbooks and stuff and so I found a whole bunch of stickers that have been hidden for years that I didn't know about and I love the fact that I can just come here and use you know like my jewelry sticker books a little bit more because I can decorate on the sides and I love that I can print out my pictures and I can look at it I'm just really really happy with it now I don't know how thick it's going to be once it's all done but it has a huge coil and essentially all I need is the in like the inside pages so anything else anything extra I can take out like I don't need any of the notes pages of, or the folder although the fo folder is really pretty but no notes pages no stickers I don't need the stickers are really pretty but I don't need any of this in here when it's all said and done all I need is just the journal aspect of it so and the notes pages are really pretty too but yeah I, all I need is just the guts of it and it goes all the way to the end of next year and for this price, I really recommend it. I'm super happy that I actually stuck with it for the first week because looking at it, I'm just so happy to see it. I wish I, the first one that I bought that started in January, I wish I had done that. Tax season just got away from me and it was too hard. And I actually, I wish I started it when we first got Emmy. That would have been awesome if I had started it from like day one of having children. Um, I got this idea from Talia here on YouTube. I really enjoy her videos, I found her through Planner. She does awesome nails and now she vlogs occasionally. She has a daughter similar in age to Autumn. And had I thought about this or like found the Planner community back when we first got Emmy in 2011, I mean, I could have years of journals that, you know, I look at pictures and the small amounts of video I was allowed to take of her and stuff from back then, but. I would have loved to have journals of journey, the journey that we went through with her and then the journey that we went through getting pregnant with Maddie and then the journey of having her and then the journey of getting pregnant again with Autumn. Um, the good thing about like Autumn is I've been daily vlogging since I was pregnant with her. So I have a good representation video wise of her pregnancy and her birth and her newborn like I was taking video and pictures like crazy I don't have as much of that with Maddie when she was little and hardly anything of Emmy uh, YouTube wise I'm not talking about like regular pictures and video but YouTube wise I don't really have that much of Emmy because by the time we were even able to like share her she was already older she was almost four like we had to wait no she was like three and a half um, before we could really like put it out there her picture and her identity and stuff like that so anyway that's a whole other topic I just got done editing the video 
and I'm waiting for it to export doing this and I hopped on here for some reason and for the life of me I can't remember now that I rambled on for five minutes about this hmm I have no idea <laughs> so we're just gonna go with it tomorrow I don't think we have any plans except Emmy's basketball practice so again it's gonna be a day of like chilling out here at the house all everyone's gonna be home and the dress has to work but Maddie will be home from school and we're just gonna hang out have a chill day get the house straightened up a bit more I'm really happy with my progress in here I would like to kind of sweep through the girls rooms and make sure they're cleaned up and then the whole house is clean the only thing that I need to um, do is the laundry in our room which god knows that'll get done because i hate folding laundry i mentioned this before i don't mind putting the dishes in the dishwasher i hate taking them out and i don't mind washing laundry i can wash laundry all day i hate folding those are the essentials of life and i hate doing both of them so <laughs> anywho um my battery is about to die so i'm going to call it a night uh it's 10 30 and i'm going to watch a couple of shows i'm almost done with pretty little liars can you guys believe it i just started it like yesterday the day before and i'm almost done and i'm excited to see how it ends so i'll probably watch a show or two before bed and then call it a night so we will see you guys bright and early tomorrow morning thanks for watching bye